What are we doing? He's showing me, <laughs> he's showing me his Parmesan recipe. <laughs> All right, folks, Captain Morgan, get go cheese outdoors. Brooklyn boy legend, Elias V fishing. Here's a spot right here. Say hello to the way. How you doing? We had a tough day today, pal, All right? Today was no good. No bueno. No bueno. <laughs> tough day. Victory at sea. <laughs> Yeah, we got about how many of those? 40 of those. Oh boy, he's starting to lie. <laughs> and uh, a couple we, of 24 inch sea bass. A couple of 24 inch sea bass. Burgles. <laughs> Mahi. Mahi. Dorado. Wahoo. Wahoo. You didn't get any Wahoo. <laughs> all right, all right. Maybe we didn't get any Wahoo, but the Dorado was thick out there today. Dorado? This guy is pathological, Josie. What? Who does that right now? Seriously, I'm in the middle of uh, filming a feature film right now, and she's interrupting me. It's a dash. All right. So let's let's just go aside here before we get the peanut gallery chimes in again. All right, so jigging. Let's just do a quick side on jigging right now. As you notice here, I go out there when I'm taking people out. I will have conventional stuff, and I'll always have up top. You'll see a whole uh, slew of jigging rods. All right, they're light tackles. They're my fluke rods. All right, 20 pound test, 20 pound fluoro with uh, jigs on it. All right, and what I'll do is, as it's, it's just a great thing for you guys to have as a tip out there, beginners, all right? Obviously, have your old school conventional stuff with everybody black fishes with. As the tide is maybe an hour to slack, before slack, slack, and after slack. So you don't be you have a, probably almost a three hour, you know, two and a half hour window right there. Straight down, drop the jigs down, all right? Your tidal pull will be slow. You'll be able to hold bottom with jigging with one ounce jigs. And, and Elias right now is going to try a ounce and a quarter jig, all right? So we're just going to drop bottom. Again, that's at the end of the tide, as it floods or as it ebbs, as the tide slows down, all right? The slide tide picks up in the middle of the tide and it drops down as it's right before slack. So right before slack and out before slack, hour after slack and slack, drop those jigs down, all right? Just take the other rod up in the rocket launches, bring down the jigs and start jigging. Uh, using jigs for blackfish, all right? That's a cool little uh, thing to put in your arsenal. Let's go with Elias right now. He's gonna start with the jig. I hope I pull a hackle head up for you. <laughs> Live action. Fishing 200 feet of water, there we go. Hit bottom. The key to blackfish not on quite, Not quite yet. Not yet, a couple more minutes, about a half hour we'll get down there. The key to jigging blackfish is, or using jigs for blackfish is when to say when. Nice, live action, just hit bottom. You asleep yet? Look at the size of these waves coming. <laughs> uh, I hope you guys appreciate the size of those waves that just came from. And I still held bottom. A little fish sitting on it. Oh, there's something there. Sitting on it. Something saying hello to it. Does he have any bait left? I do. I definitely do. It's lift. When you feel him pull, he'll be there and then you say hello. If you set the hook, you'll foul hook him on the jig. We're from Brooklyn, that counts. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Brooklyn is, there's no, there's no rules in Brooklyn. No, I'd be fishing with weighted trebles by now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah! That's my boy right there! With the Chuck's custom rod! He's on to a blackfish on the title tail jig. Oh, yeah! That's next. And there it is. We gotta get a quick one in that, though. I know. It's a little bit fish, though. That's not a bad fish. With a nice Jersey Keeper. 20. Say goodbye. That's it. You ready?
folks, so that was our first drop right there. Crank and wind, which they didn't call for, of course. And then we had good three and some fours hitting us, all right? Fresh cold front swooping down from Canada. Jet stream is moving towards the Atlantic. Huh? So what we were doing is, as me, as a captain, you gotta play safe, all right? You don't take chances out there. I only used one anchor out there because it was really sketchy. There's too many bad things can happen when you have multiple anchors out in garbage like that, in tight quarters with other boats, all right? It's tough to retrieve your anchor. So we chose not to do that, all right? I chose just to kind of just try to manipulate the wind and the tide and the drift. I got it the first time, second time we were on it for a while, and then we just spun off, and after that it got real crazy. So we moved into shallow water, right? Tough day, weather was off the hook. Take a peek at this now, I'm gonna show you Elias right now catching a, a porgy, but but just look at the seas, the conditions that we had to fish, all right? Here he comes. Folks, I learned a couple of things on this trip with Elias. First thing is, this camera angle here is no bueno for the jumpy kid, all right? <laughs> Terrible angle, not happening again. Secondly, that trench reel, I don't think it's gonna cut it for blackfish, all right? As much as I fish, I'll be blowing that thing up, you know, setting hooks with uh, eight ounce lead. And uh, thirdly, the slickers, the white slickers, seriously, I look like a fat butcher, all right? Hey. That's not gonna happen. I gotta, gotta do something about those slickers, all right? I was totally down, depressed the way I looked, and then I looked over at Kenny, and he kind of looks like this thing, so I mean, that made me feel a lot better. But uh, it was just the angle, the slickers, it was just scary monsters. Try and find some black slickers, silly. You look skinny. All right, let's go into something serious right now. I want to show you how uh, it's great for kids, the uh, parents to teach uh, the kids or the parents who really have no experience in black fishing. A kind of a good way to help you out to catch these fish. Elias is very experienced. He knows what he's doing out there. You can see, first of all, he's one-handed holding this thing one-handed because of the fact that we're in three to fours out there. And uh, half of the time he's out there because he's got the con at. He has to wave to all the girls that going by, whistling. I just want you to know I'm leaving you for the man in the con hat. Ah. It's, it's, it, it gets distracting out there when you wear the con hat, don't get me wrong. And secondly, he reaches up and grabs a rocket launcher so he doesn't go flying overboard. All right, but I want you to take a note of how he's doing that. He knows that a blackfish, when it comes, you know, nine out of ten times, is going to strike it. A blackfish will pound on that bait. <laughs> A blackfish will pound on that bait, and it's gonna take a couple of seconds for each. So that gives him the luxury now of loading that other hand onto the rod and getting ready to do that fulcrum, all right? Push down on the rod butt, and in front of the reel, the other hand should be in front of that reel so you have that power, all right? Once that strike happens again, you'll see him set that hook, and it's picture perfect, all right? So something to teach the kids here, it really is a cool technique, is let them almost do like the rodeo. Have them hold that rod with one hand, obviously above the reel, so if something does take off, that you got a good grip on it. But uh, have them just do that. It's this way they don't react immediately on that first bite and sweat set the hook. Because once you do that, you have a good chance of just getting that fish out of there, spooking that fish, or losing that fish to a smaller fish. All right. So have them hold it one-handed. They're gonna feel that first strike. Now you get ready to load and wait for the second real pull on that on that fish. All right. You're gonna see that those rod tips are really they're getting hit good, so you're not missing these these uh, strikes. All right. So have that kid hold the rod above the reel. And then get right fast strike. Once that strike gets there, bring the second hand in and blast it. All right. And once you start developing that, you're gonna have a whole, you'll get into a whole groove. You'll be able to have this uh, system down to a science. That's how you set a hook. So you can then do what I do. I'm always pretty much loaded, rods it down to the water so I can swing that thing completely. You know what I'm saying? I won't be able to get that big hook set. And then we're just gonna push down and pull up with one. And it's basically a fulcrum. It's a big power swing. All right. So that's how you're gonna catch more fish. And it's, what's gonna happen is you're not gonna react as fast and set the hook too quickly. You're not supposed to set hooks quickly on blackfish. You wanna get that series of bites. These fish now will play with the, with the crab, they'll disable it, and then they'll start picking at it, and then they'll eat it. All right, so just use that food for thought, all right? That's gonna be kind of today's tip of the week. All right, here we go. Con shot of the week right now. Who is it? It's this guy right here. This is where you get your zoom. Yeah. I'll give you a big picture anyway. Put a big picture right up there right now. All right, this is J underscore G-O-D-D-D-D. -D -D -D. 
Jay God, I guess. Fan of your page and videos. Caught this one yesterday, not the 50 pound that I was looking for, but she'll do. Heck yeah, she'll do. Congratulations on that fish right there. Great picture, by the way. Looks like he's on a head boat there. I'm not quite sure which one. But if Jay God, if you watch this one, put it in the comments below, pal. Tell people who you were out there fishing with, all right? We love to see local captains out there making it happen. Oh, and don't you forget, I must add one more person into that con shout out. All right, kids, let's see how. There we go. There's the old con yellow for the kids cheering. There he is, right there. Jay Leno, 31 Instagram. He's down in Delaware, Ocean City, Maryland area. Killing him. His, his tog season's just gonna start down there. Love to go down there and fish that tog season. I hear there's some beasts down there, all right? But congratulations on that monster tog in that picture, right? He's bringing the beard back. What? All right, let's get back to work. You wanna follow us on Instagram? Right here, use this stuff right there. Kid Cochise underscore outdoors. It's on Instagram. You can follow us, follow our local tournaments like that, and uh, just see what the local captains are doing right there. Plan on jumping on some local captain boats, doing some videos, all right? Gypsy Charters. I don't know if you if you watch this, but I love to video you guys out there. You seem like you're spanking them. Gypsy Charters on Instagram. Instagram. They're out to the west of me. All right, they're killing them out there. Hmm. On that note, too, with Instagram. Follow Babylon Trace Palms. That's where the tournament's going to be. That's the last best tournament of the year. All right, we'll be fishing out with Roy Mange again. Kid will be out there saying hello to everybody having a sarsaparilla. So come down, join the tournament. Uh, call Daniel Trace like Palms in Babylon. And Daniel will hook you up with the uh, workings of the tournament, how you get involved, how you pay him, and all other jazz. Take your cheese. There you go. Yeah. The winners. The winners of the Trey Palms. Nice. Right there. Great tournament, killer food. I hope he does soup again, and I hope he does the cigars again. All right, Trey Palms is going to be December 3rd. That's the tournament, all right? Let's get back to some fishing. It's usually the little ones that get me. Cocktails are the ones that bite me. I never, I never had a big one hit me yet, nah. I've dealt with over a thousand. I hold them by the tail. All right, folks, so there you go. There's Elias right there. We had him working, all right? Pulling the anchor. Well, not necessarily. Kenny pulled the anchor 15 times. <laughs> the only thing you're missing is the whip. Yeah, but I did have him pull the old wreck anchor. He got down and dirty, bent back to reef off, put a little stuff away, tightened up the boat, and he also we got back to the dock and he banged out some fish, cleaned some fish with uh, Kenny, all right? Of course, I didn't videotape the first part of the fishing when we were on the piece with coral little fish, but uh, that's all part of making film here, all right? Uh, good to have him out there. Good guy, Elias. Go to his channel, take a peek at his stuff. He's a kayaker. Or some people call him canoers. Alright? Glad to have him on board. Hopefully, we get to fish again together and do something. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, episode. Really, what it was, though, was hopefully you guys got a little enlightened on the uh, technique of catching blackfish. Of course, this channel is all about teaching kids how to fish with a little humor. As a matter of fact, here comes a little humor right now. What we found in Elias' bag. Now, what we're going to do, Kenny, we're going to go into this right here. Well, actually, bag. Oh boy. And that's his that. <laughs> oh no. I knew that would come you back. You guys who watch Elias V, that's what he carries in his bag. You need it. You never know. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my my my. Oh my. Alright folks, thanks again for watching Kid Coach Cheese Outdoors. If you have a second, consider subscribing below. Like and comment below too, alright? Thanks for watching. Take care and always brush your hair. Chubby kids gotta go.